Today I'm going to be showing you what I think is probably the most simple and easy to use disk cloning piece of software I've ever experienced. Uh, EasyUS reached out to me and asked me to check out their disk cloning software. There will be a link in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. And they sent me over a code for it. It is extremely simple. It is purely just a disk cloning software. It doesn't have any other features, which makes it very simple and easy to use. There's nothing to get confused by. There's nothing to do by accident. It's very, very straightforward. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how easy it is to copy a disk using the software. So if you go ahead and go to the website, you go ahead, we're gonna just download the free trial. It should automatically just start a download. And once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and launch it. This is a portable version of the software. It's not installing anything. It's just running one time. Um, it doesn't leave anything behind. So if I wanna run it again, I just run it again from that downloaded EXE. So I'm gonna be putting in my license code here. And as soon as we're in, we're able to see that it already knows that there is a new SSD on this computer. The reason it knows that is I have an SSD that I just installed that has no partitions on it. It is completely unallocated. So it is seeing that as a new SSD and it's asking if we wanna migrate our OS to it. And I do, That's I installed it for the purpose of doing this video. So let's go ahead and press yes. What that's gonna do, it's just gonna pre-select things for me. Um, now, if your situation is not like that, I will show you how to do this as well. I would just click proceed in this situation. What we're gonna do though, is we're gonna select our source disk. So our source disk is going to be this disk one. We're gonna do next. And my destination disk is this disk zero. And then we're also gonna press next. And now here I'm saying auto fit to the disk size. You can edit it and kind of change your disk size layouts. I wouldn't suggest you do that. You don't really need to. Um, it, the auto fit does a really good job of trying to keep everything the same size um, and make sure that you're getting as much space as you can. And then you just press proceed. Super simple. It's going ahead and it is copying my OS drive right now. We'll give this a few minutes. I will throw it on a time lapse and we will come back when it's complete. All right, so it didn't take that long. It only took just over nine minutes. And as you can see, it's asking us if we want it to automatically adjust the boot order to boot from the new drive that, that we just converted the OS to. This is only gonna happen if you do the OS um, drive when you clone, or you can do it yourself and there is a guide on how to do it. I'm gonna let it automatically adjust the boot order. We'll see how well that works. And we will come back into Windows when that's done. So as you can see here, my C drive is on the team uh, drive, which is the one that I transferred to. So it did all of the changes for me. It changed the boot priority and everything. Extremely simple. And now you can see why I was mentioning that this is probably the most simple clone software that I've ever used. It, this is something that you can give to anybody, even if they're tech illiterate, you can guide them through this process extremely simply because there's almost no steps to it. They can migrate their OS or clone their drives very, very simply. And, you know, again, I don't think I've seen a piece of software this simple to use before. So we may as well talk about the pricing here. And for $20, you get the pro version, which is what I used in this video. Most people are not going to need the technician version, which has some stuff to be able to do things over the network and to do things on Windows Server. But for 20 bucks, if you want the easiest and most simple way to clone a drive or migrate your OS, this is probably gonna be it. And if you do run into any, any issues, your license comes with support included. So you can talk directly to EasyUS and get help with whatever process you are doing. But again, I don't think I've ever had such a simple process and I don't foresee people having many issues with this. Uh, again, links will be in the description below. If you wanna go ahead and check this out for yourself. And that's it. I'm really curious what you guys think. Did the software look as simple to use as it felt for me? Um, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. 
But with all that said, I really do hope you found this video helpful. And if not, I at least hope you found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. If you like, subscribe, you can leave your questions, comments, and feedback in the comment section down below, and I'll try to get them all as quick as I can. Big thanks to my patron sponsors, and thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you do want to see any of my other videos about disk migration or anything of the sort, you can check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.